Hi guys, Dan here. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you through the NVIDIA control panel. Uh, sorry, I'll move Audacity away. I'm going to show you my settings, show you what I've got. Um, and this is, in my experience, the best performance. Um, and I'll, sh I'll show you other things you could do if you're more for quality than performance. That's um, If you're here for that reason, then that's fine also. Uh, so obviously the first thing you want to do is right click on your desktop or click the little NVIDIA icon down here. You want to go to NVIDIA control panel. It's pretty straightforward. Takes a little while to load, um, but yeah, that, that kind of sucks. But other than that, it's uh, pretty good. Um, and this is pretty. These are pretty much all the settings. I'll maximize the window here. Uh, although I don't think you can make this any bigger. Um, so if I just re restore them, so this is what they are at the beginning. Uh, it'll load in a sec. So as you can see here, we have anastropic filtering. I always set this to 60 because it doesn't tax your graphics card that much, but it gives you a lot of. Um, it make it, basically the, the anastropic filtering will make your textures look better, um, and like I said, it does not tax your graphics card much at all. Uh, I want to say make sure you've got at least two gigabytes of um, VRAM there, uh, and then you want to scroll down and make sure this is set to clamp. Um, uh, this will probably already be on clamp if you set this to 16. Uh, and you can read what they do by hovering over them and then seeing at the bottom what it says. Um, so this is power management mode and it has optimal, adaptive and prefer maximum. I use adaptive because if you prefer maximum your fan's going to be going like almost full speed all the time. Uh, optimal, I found that the performance isn't actually that good, it's, it's definitely worse than adaptive. So if you've got a laptop and you want to keep your charge, so you want to preserve charge, uh, this is more like a power saving mode, um, so you want to set adaptive. Uh, as you see, maximum pre-rendered frames. Now basically what this is, this determines your input delay. I keep this at 1 because I hate input lag, hate it, hate it, hate it. Um, or you can just leave it to use the 3D application settings if you have got a crappy PC. Um, so let's have a look at texture filtering. Now, if you have a really, really old card that only has about one gigabyte of VRAM, uh, you want to set this to high performance. This is going to basically um, determine how much VRAM you have. Literally, that's what it's all about. So high quality, I want to say maybe two gigs, and depending on the game, if you just don't, if you have a two gigabyte of v, two gigabytes of VRAM, just leave it at quality. Don't tamper with it. Um, so as you see, uh, threaded optimization. Now I keep this on auto because um, I don't really have a use for turning it on and off, so I just keep it at auto. Um, shader cache. Now, if you turn this off, uh, you will save disk space, but increase loading time. So I just keep it at on. Uh, this is another one. Gamma correction. Uh, I've never bothered turning it off, um, so I don't know if it give you any performance. I doubt it would give you any performance whatsoever. Ambient occlusion I leave off and the game will turn it on if it has got ambient occlusion, uh, at least in the games I've been playing. Um, I don't manually turn this on because I don't know what it's going to do, uh, I've never tried it. Also ambient occlusion does tax your graphics card quite a bit. Um, so if you leave it to off it will go on if the game supports it. Uh, so this is another one, multi-display mixed GPU acceleration. I keep this at multiple, obviously if you've got single you press single and uh, it says what it says, so it says compatibility mode uh, may eliminate the corruption in programs that span across multiple screens. Basically if you're using like Valley Benchmark uh, and you want to do the span feature that lets you span it across both screens, just put this to compatibility. In my case I'll leave this to multiple because I do use multiple uh, monitors. DSR factors, now this is an interesting one, this will basically upscale your resolution. Even if you've got a 1080p monitor you can upscale it to 4K, o although you know obviously it won't be full true 4K. Uh, I've never used this, my graphics card isn't that good so I don't want to tax it even more. Um, Let's have a look here. Triple buffering um, and vertical sync. If you have this on or you have it application settings, you can turn it on in game. I usually leave it off all the time. And if you are for some reason using vertical sync, if you get a ton of screen tearing, make sure to have triple buffering on because you will increase your performance that way. Um, now, as you can see here, texture filtering. Uh, Trillinear optimization. I don't know if I pronounced that right, my bad. Uh, select on for higher performance with minimal loss in quality and select off for the best image quality. So, you know, uh, 
take that with a grain of salt, you know, if you're comfortable with turning this off, go ahead, you know, have any problems in games, obviously, res um, turn it back, um, so I think that's pretty much all that I have to explain here that matters at all. FXAA, I always leave this off. It looks horrible. And if you want to turn it on, it will. Uh, you can turn it on in-game. Again, you know, with the ambient occlusion, um, if you have it off here, it will get turned on if you have it in-game. Uh, so this is a program set. And this will basically, you can manually go in and change um, specific games or programs. And you can set up the settings here. Uh, as you can see, I've got State of Decay Year 1 here, um, and I can do what I like. So I could change this to like allow and then apply it, but it wouldn't apply in the global settings. Uh, I hope that makes sense to you guys. If there's something that isn't showing up, you just press add. And then you just press browse and get it, or you find it here. Okay, so... I've never messed around with a just desktop color settings. Um, you can use the NVIDIA settings and kind of change it yourself, but I really am not uh, comfortable doing that because I've never had any problems. Um, so I'm going to skip. Um, so yeah, again, I have no clue what this does. Uh, most of these are pretty self-explanatory because it, it will tell you what it does. Um, set up digital audio. Sure, I'll save whatever I just did there. Right, so this is digital audio. Sorry for that little cut there. For some reason, it changed my resolution. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Um, so I don't have whatever this is, so I cannot do this. Again, if you're interested, just read what it says. Uh, adjust desktop size and position. Um, I usually use uh, the uh, defaults. Um, so I've got that, and then I have a 71 refresh rate monitor. So pretty much, to get the, be uh, the best refresh rate, you have to... I'll show you from step one, sorry. Um, you want to go to customize. You want to create a custom resolution. Uh, make sure this is set to your native re resolution. Make sure this is set to photo. It will only let you do that. Now, the one thing you do need to change to get the full uh, refresh potential out of your monitor is where it says standard and timing. You want to click and then put CVT reduce blank and then just go up step by step. So, for example, uh, 61. If you're not sure on your monitor, just go up by little steps. So there's 61, completely fine. Now I can get up to 71 um, hertz on this monitor, so that's exactly what I'll do. Um, if it would let me, okay. So I'm gonna go to 71 hertz, test that, and then press yes. So as you can see, it's it's all good. Uh, I have no problems. I can reach that, uh, no problem. And then you just press OK. And then when you press OK, all your new res resolutions will be under a custom little thing here. Um, now, that wasn't actually my gaming monitor. That's my secondary, so my bad. But, um, yeah, same goes for all of them, really. Just make sure to press Apply after you're finished. Um, and then, yeah. Uh, so, let's wait for it to load. Very slow. I've always realized that. Uh, adjust video color. So again, I've never messed with this. So I don't recommend messing with it if you don't have any problems um, uh, At this moment of time adjust video image settings um, Again, I've never messed with it. So I apologize. I don't know what to tell you um, And I'll say one last time that if you have any interest in any of these um, Tabs or settings you just read just read what it's saying to you. It's pretty self-explanatory Um and I think that's just about it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I sure did not enjoy helping you guys out if I did. Um, so, yeah, everybody take it easy. And I'll catch you in the next video. All right, guys, peace.